this video I want to show you guys how to create a test average in grade program and what it's going to do is the user is going to type in a series of test scores and then this program is going to return back the numerical average as well as the letter grade so let's run this and let me show you how it works so we're going to run it and it's going to prompt us and it's going to say enter test scores and say stop to find the grade so the first test score will say we made a 45 and we can enter as many as we want but it's going to prompt us again Say the second one we studied a little harder and made a 56. The third one we realized that we need to really step up our game or we're going to fail, so we made a 78. And then we made a 88. And then for the last one we made a 95. And we can type in more than this, but just to show you guys what this program does. So to find the average of these test grades, we'll just say stop. And what it's going to do is it says the student's final grade was a 72.4, so this is the numerical average, and received a C in this course. So that's what this program does. Um, in the next section of this tutorial, I'm actually going to show you guys how to create this program yourself. So for the coding section of this tutorial, we're going to start out by creating two functions. And the first function is going to be the test average. So the test average and for now we're just going to say pass and then the second function is going to be the letter grade so define letter grade okay and this one we're also going to pass for right now so the test average this is going to find the numerical average of our test grades and what we're going to need to pass to this function as parameters is actually our test list. Okay, So we're going to need to pass test list to this function. So in order to find the average, we need to sum up all the elements in our list and then divide that total by the length of our list. So we're going to create a variable called total. We're going to set it equal to zero. And then we are going to iterate through our test list with a for loop. So we're going to say for um, x in test list we're just going to add each element in our test list to our total so total plus equals x okay now we have the total in order to find the average we just need to divide total by the length of our list so we're going to create a new variable called average and we're going to set it equal to total divided by the length of our test list okay and now all we need to do is return our average and now we have the average of our test list or the numerical average of our test list from here for the letter grade what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to take that numerical average and find a letter score for it so what we're going to pass to this function letter grade um, as our parameters is going to be the test average okay the test average and from here, it's pretty simple. First of all, we're just going to assume that the student's average um, is an F, okay? So that's what we're gonna do here. So we're just going to assume it's an F. And then we need to create a series of if, else if statements to check to see if it's greater than 90, greater than 80, and so on and so forth. So we're just going to say if test average is greater than or equal to 90 well greater than or equal to 90 is a a so we're just gonna say the average is equal to a else if the test average is greater than or equal to 80 well that's a B so average is equal to B else if test average is greater than or equal to 70 well that's a C so average is going to be equal to a C and then there's a D that we gotta take care of so else if test average is greater than or equal to 60 well average will then be a D we actually don't need to do anything less than 60 because if the test average does not um, is not taken care of by any one of these conditions well it's the average is good, just going to be F so we can just keep it like that what we're going to do from here is we're just going to return the average 
Okay, so we're done with our two functions. What we now need to do is we need to um, now get input from the user and store it into our test list so that we can then pass it to our functions with function calls and actually get the numerical average and the letter score. So what we're going to do is we're going to create the test list and it's for now it's just going to be empty and what this test list is going to hold is it's going to hold the series of tests that the input enters as input. Okay, So we're going to need to create an infinite while loop and it needs to be infinite because what we're going to do is we want the user to be able to enter as many scores as they want to and we're going to keep appending those scores to our list until they say stop and once they say stop then we'll break so what we need to do in this while loop is we need to create a var variable that holds each one of the test scores input so we're just going to create a variable called scores and it's going to be equal to the input and we're just going to tell them to enter test scores and say stop to find the grade find the grade okay from here we need a way to break out of this infinite while loop when they say stop so we're just going to say if scores is equal to stop what we're going to do is we're just going to break out of this infinite while loop and then from here we just need to append the scores to the test list so we're just going to say the test list yeah test list dot append and then we're going to append the scores but we first have to convert it into a float and I'll explain why in a second so append scores okay so the reason we're converting this into a float is because by default whatever you type in as input whether it be a string or um, an integer or a float or whatever, it's going to return a string into this scores variable. And that's what it's going to do. If we first enter stop, we can't convert stop into an integer. So first we have to check to see if they entered stop before we can then convert it into a float and append it to our test list. And the reason we want to convert it into a float is so that we can perform the ar arithmetic on it and our functions necessary. We can't perform arithmetic on strings, so we need to convert it into a, a float for our test list. Okay, so that's that. We've now gotten all the uh, numerical grades from our user with this infinite while loop and they can break out by just saying stop. What we now need to do is we need to pass our test list to the test average function but with using a function call. So we're going to create a variable called test average and we're going to set it equal to the function call of test average. And what we're going to do is we're going to pass it our test list, okay? We're going to pass it the test list. And then for the letter grade, we're just going to create another variable called letter grade. And we're going to set it equal to the function call of letter grade. But instead of passing it a list, we need to pass it the test average. Because remember, we need to take the average and then to find from that average the uh the A, B, C, or D grade. So we're going to pass it the test average. Test average, yeah, test average. And then from here, all we have to do is display it to the screen. So I'm going to paste this print function here real quick. And all this is doing is it says the string, the student's final grade was A, and then it, so as of right now, test average is this function is returning a float to this variable. So this variable is a float. If we didn't convert it into a string, we cannot concatenate floats to strings. So we first have to convert it into a string in order to concatenate it to this string right here. And we did the same thing over here. So the student's final grade was a, and then we put the <coughs> test average, 
plus and received in and then the letter grade in this course. So this is all the code. What we're going to do now is we're going to save this and then we're going to run it again real quick. So run hello. So it says enter test scores and say stop to find the grade. So we're going to enter some test scores. We'll enter a little bit more this time. Not zeros. Um, 100, 98, 97, 65. And then uh, this, these are the test scores we want to find the average for. So stop. And it says the student's final grade was a 73.818181 repeating and received a C in this course. So that is the uh, tutorial on how to find the test grade and average. And uh, if you got any value from it, I would appreciate it if you liked, commented, and subscribed. And I will see you guys in future tutorials.